such a breach or annulment, could occur without the aeronautical support of NATO, and the immediate use and direct military involvement of Romania, Bulgaria, Turkey, and Georgia. For those countries who decide to support, t the dangerous undertaking. History. The Montreux Convention, or Convention, concerning the regime of the Straits, is a convention that concerns the regime of the Bosphorus Straits and the Dardanelles. The agreement, signed in 1936, cedes control of the Bosphorus Straits and the Dardanelles to Turkey and regulates military activity in the region. The treaty gives Turkey full control of the Straits and guarantees freedom of navigation by civilian ships in peacetime. The treaty's terms have been controversial for years, particularly over the passage of Soviet warships from the Straits into the Mediterranean Sea. It was signed on July 20, 1936, in the Swiss city of Montreux. It entered into force on November 9, 1936, and was registered with the League of Nations on December 11, 1936. It is still valid to this day, with some modifications. The terms of the contract today. The contracting parties to the treaty, contracting parties, Black Sea States, Bulgaria, Romania, Soviet Union, Turkey, Australia, France, Greece, Italy, England, Yugoslavia recognize, and confirm, the principle of free passage and navigation by sea in the Straits, in time of peace, merchant ships shall enjoy full freedom of passage and navigation in the Straits, by day and night, under any flag with any kind of cargo. The treaty gives Turkey full control of the Straits, and guarantees free navigation, by civilian ships, in peacetime. Allows Turkey to militarize the Straits. Permits the passage of warships of coastal countries with one week's notice and subject to certain conditions of displacement, size, and armament. It significantly limits the passage of warships that do not belong to Black Sea states, passage warning, displacement limit of ships, limitation of armament, non-passage of aircraft carriers, etc. Compatibility with UNCLO When the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea, UNCLO, came into force. In November 1994 its implementation called for the Montreux Treaty to be reformulated to make it compatible with the regime governing international navigation. However, Turkey's long-standing refusal to sign UNCLO means the Montreux Treaty remains in force without further amendment. So yes, NATO can create a task force from an aircraft carrier and accompanying warships and even state that this group is not under the orders of NATO but is a pure initiative of states, belonging to the European Union, who will rush to help the conditions of Africa that will be deprived of precious grains because of evil Putin. Ports with relative security will be found in Turkey, Romania, Bulgaria, Odessa, today's Ukraine. He then cited the achievements of last year's Black Sea Grain Agreement, or Grain Deal, which allowed the safe export of 33 million tons of agricultural product as to countries in Africa and Asia. He named the main buyers of Ukrainian products, trying to show the West, and the rest of the world, why it is important to continue the deal, even without Moscow's agreement. The pressure on Russia continues, with China gaining time and experience from the front in cooperation with Moscow. Please read more in our news blog, at the link below.